Welcome to Sinama Taylor. We've just come off of the cut line. So a really exciting day. Tomorrow morning we wake up really early and we make our trip down south. Now all I was told is, and believe you me when I say this, it's a hard job and a big one. We had to remove the bin or the buck of the canopy and you have to get rid of it. Now that's taken in itself about three weeks to do. So. I'm excited. We wake up really early tomorrow, four o'clock. I still have to go for a shave. I still have to get all the gear cleaned and packed up and we make our way down south. Join us tomorrow morning when we head through and get an upgrade to the Ford Ranger that literally is going to change my overlanding game. I hope you enjoy this episode and see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, and what a frigid morning it is. It's four o'clock in the morning, and today we do a massive upgrade to the Ford Ranger. I'm on the N1, and I'm driving out of Johannesburg. I just left now, as of 10 minutes ago. It is absolutely freezing. And I'm really, really excited and still a little bit tired. I did have a cup of coffee. I just think at this time of the morning, one cup of coffee just isn't good enough. What a morning it is and what a day it's going to be. So it is absolutely frigid this Wednesday morning and we're almost halfway through the trip I got another two hours to go so it's been three weeks since we took the canopy and the buck off of the Ranger I've had to use cable ties to keep the lights on the back on not the prettiest of jobs but it'll work for the time being it's been a long wait and I've been absolutely excited for far too long. Let's carry on with the trip and let's get that cup of coffee. The big question is, what am I getting? And I've been tantalizing and stringing you guys all along. And thanks for your patience. We are going to... Now I'll tell you when I get there. So we have just arrived, we're not too far now from our destination, which is RSI. I've always loved this product, I've always kept my eye on RSI, they're a company that is at the forefront of engineering and design when it comes to canopies and their train canopy combo. So the guys at RSI reached out to me and said, would you be keen to test one of our units out? And I said, 
absolutely why wouldn't I so that's where we're going we have two minutes left to go a couple of roads I need to turn left and right on and then we'll be at their headquarters <laughs> I work for Rock Solid Industries International. Uh, I'm here to fit a tray on this one today. Thanks. Okay, so we are here at Rock Solid Industries, also known as RSI. I've just had a chat with Mike and yeah he said we can film the install which is pretty cool a four and a half four hour 45 minute drive it's good to be here and um, i've had a glimpse of the tray and canopy i'm just waiting for it to come out behind the curtains looks amazing <laughs> Now we're just doing the touch up and finishing up now putting the last pieces on. I think this is one of the amazing kind of pieces on the market anyway. It's really great. You would love to have one of these. <laughs> Don't start with that. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a challenge, but we got it. <laughs> okay, so phase one of the RSI tray and canopy combo is sorted. One of the most amazing things is how versatile this tray unit is from RSI. It serves essentially as a flatbed. And the great thing is, is you can get sides that mount to the sides and the back of it, so you, which, which fold down, which I think is just brilliant it is quite a heavy unit it is made out of steel so i suppose whilst it might be heavy 
The plus side to that is it's strong and robust, something you can rely on. I did drive the Ranger just now, and I think we're already close to where I was with the canopy and the normal buck. I'm looking forward to what happens when the canopy goes on, and I do believe that um, there are gonna be uh, wheel holders at the back, so I can finally get that tire and rim off the top of the vehicle and into the right place. What a day it's been. And I'll tell you what, that last piece has gone on, and that's the canopy. So tray and canopy are now merged and are as one. We're gonna chat to Mike, the owner of Rock Solid Industries. And old Mike is in the background and he's psyching himself up for a bit of a chat. He's gonna do the walk around of the tray and canopy combo. Welcome to our Smart Cap Tribe. We're really excited to be working with you, but here we have our tray. So really our three-in-one tray it comes with the um, standard as a, as, a, as a tray without the cap and without the drop side. You can add the drop side. You just put your hinges on the side and it comes with a drop side kit. You can also obviously add your, your canopy as well. This is a combo that fits the Toyota and the Ford. So we have a multi uh, position on the, on the chassis mount so to accommodate both for the Toyota as well as the Ford and it comes with a very easy plug and play harness only six mounting points to kind of load on and bolt down and then you can plug your harness in just going through some key features and benefits side storage really awesome if you want to put compressor in there or some recovery gear our doors are double skin doors really really stiff and tough we've got these internal molly plates which are really cool so you can kind of load up some accessories your max tracks or recovery gear just an additional free storage space really. Table, our standard table that fits in all our caps. There's, a, there's an internal locking system that unlocks it. It's now still in a safe position. You move forward, drop down, pull your table out. Really safe and easy and convenient to use. I think lastly not, and not least, we have a full pull-out drawer at the back. And that kind of flies. Which is just really a nice hidden gem as well. So Ryan, we, we're really excited to have you on board and, uh, and wish you many, many happy miles. Cheers, bud. Mike. It looks good. I'm sure it does, man. I'm, I'm sitting here and I've got the biggest smile on my face, but I really, thank you so much, mate. Thank you. No, no worries, buddy. Uh, uh, can you feel it on the back? No, actually, so I'm, I'm fairly used to this kind of weight. But what I have noticed is, is, like I said to you, it feels extremely sturdy. So I can see it is, it is, it is I wouldn't say bouncy is the word, but it definitely is a bit of movement. Uh, but it's looking quite stable. And uh, that's where, you know, your shock movement moves. It's moving about an inch, inch and a half. So there's a bit of, there's definitely travel. Um, a stiffer spring would help. Is or or airbags just to stiffen up for that time that you drive, but but it's probably more comfortable with it with an extra Z. So it's looking good. It's just when you load it now, rooftop tent, fridge, all your gear. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna putting an another three hundred kg. You're gonna feed it then. Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. How's that sunset? Look at that, man. How beautiful oh, is that, eh? Uh, it's a perfect day, buddy. Gee, perfect whiskers! Day. What a day! What an we, absolute we day! We organized it, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Mike, thanks so much, man. <laughs> All right, I'll be, I'll be hey, in yeah, touch. Cool, cool, Mike. Cheers, eh? Cheers. Bye. All in all, it's just been a really great day, to be honest. I've had fun, you know, filming the install. I think as a fitment video, I think, you know, like I said, you know, thanks to the guys, thanks to Steve and his crew, to Mike and the team over at RSI. You guys are absolute legends, and it was really nice to spend a day with you guys and put on this amazing and quality geez like product um, and it looks really good so i think 
you know, enough of me trying to find the words to explain or describe just how appreciative I am, how good the product is at this stage and, and, and how, you know, how the fitting was. Instead of me just rambling on, I thought I'd put together for you guys a highlights reel. Check this out. We've been driving for just over an hour and a half. I left this morning from my old man's place in Durban at about 10 past six in the morning. And I've just pulled in now to the windmill at the Nottingham Road turnoff. I've never been here before. They've just overhauled it. And it's a really nice spot. And the most important thing is I get my morning coffee. Let me tell you something guys, Moy River, very cold, very, very, very cold and very underdressed. So it was quite strange leaving this morning, temperatures were great in Durban, absolutely great in Durban. I mean, I was nice and warm and yeah, now I'm freezing. <laughs> next, next stop is when I have a chat to you and we figure out why the tray and canopy combo is something I considered. Why did I go with one? Why did I choose to go with a tray and canopy solution as far as overlanding goes? I think it's a very interesting question. And I think as South Africans, we're not really spoiled for choice. I think as overlanders, one of our biggest challenges, well, there's two of them, really. The first one is packing space. And I suppose that goes in conjunction with weight. And weight really begins to affect a vehicle stability when you overload it on the top. If we're doing a 15-day trip, I don't think we're ever going to escape the amount of weight we carry on the top of the roof. How do you negate that? Well, you try and get as much stuff off of the roof as you possibly can. One of the ways I ended up figuring out how to do that was with a tray and canopy. And the RSI offered that. Like I said, we probably won't be able to negate the overloading on the roof, especially when we need to take extra fuel. But we try our damnedest, you know, we don't we don't like to have overloaded vehicles. With regards to weight, uh, hopefully next week I take it into a weigh bridge and we can get it all figured out. I'd like to try and do that once the, the rig is fully fully equipped. I'm also going into 4x4 Mega World Stratton Park to look at getting an extra leaf spring. Just so that when the vehicle's loaded, you know it can it can handle the weight. I know that my suspension is is prepped and ready to deal with the challenges that we face out there. taking you out there and showing you how my adventures change as a result of getting something like this. Absolutely magic, absolutely magic. What a privilege.
Stay tuned in for some magic scenes from the next episode. Big thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me get out on the next adventure. Sign up to Patreon, link in the write-up down below. The tear is 2,054 kilograms. Thank you.